Hey, V. Happy to see me? Not exactly. Blacked out, then woke up here. I miss anything? Rogue's dead. Smasher was there. I'm sorry. Shouldn't be. Died for me, not for you. Is my body still in one piece? Parked it in Arasaka Tower's basement, plugged it into the network. Figured as much. Your output's been torturing my brain with Soul Killer for a good while now. You'll be all right. I mean, look, you made it this far. Awareness of what's happening right now, that just raunches. Like, Alt neatly packed me into an engram. Couldn't even tell when, or how. So what do you think? Like being a clump of ones and zeros? At first, the phantom pain. Jesus. Felt like my whole body was on fire. Realize now it's no pain at all. It's just some digital simulacrum. Guess Alt's gonna start moving this digital psyche I am back into my flesh, but... Got no idea if I'll survive or what I'll be if I do. Soul killer, we can't feel it doing its thing. How come? We should be pissing our panties in pain right now. Digital analgesia. We're data streams. Certain sensations, inputs can be blocked. Blah, 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 yada, yada. Alt, make you suffer through an exhaustive lecture? Imparted it instantly. Whatever. She did say she'd destroy Mikoshi, just as you agreed. Gonna release all those poor bastards, only suck them into her own bosom. Make them part of herself. So we at the finish line? It's all in Alt's hands now? No. What the? Alt? I made a mistake in excluding the body as a factor. DNA reconfiguration has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons. Spit it out! In human terms! V will die independent of what I do. This is inevitable. This is imminent. This couldn't end well. We never stood a chance. Don't know why we even fucking tried. Cause it's life, it's death, it's the struggle. The hell else are we supposed to fight for? Alt, check again. Parse it all, we gotta be sure. You have approximately six months to live. Okay, okay, j just just shut the fuck up. I, I need to think. Gonna be alright. I said, something. give me one fucking minute. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a way out of this. The biochip has irreversibly changed the host organism. It no longer belongs to V, who is an intruder there. The situation is different for you. All changes were made to accommodate you. Hang on. Telling your ex to kick me out of my own body? The changes are irreversible. You have nothing left to lose. He has everything to gain. I will not interfere in your personal affairs, but while Johnny has full control, he can do what he wishes. Give us what the hell for? Is he gonna trick me into a green? Giving you a free pass, even though he can already do what you want with my body? Let's just think a sec about what to do. I'm doomed to die. We stick to the plan I gave you. I leave. You stay. The keys to my body are yours. Okay, yeah. Can't say I wasn't hoping you would say that. Johnny, 
What do I do, Alt? Simply enter the well. V's body will be yours, while V will become a part of me. Fuck. Don't think I'll ever get used to this. Shit, got a pack too. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you too. Best not leave this lying around. Not much, but I'm all right with that. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. It's Richard Knight. I built, built this fucking city. Open up. Hey. Hey, guy. What's up, Chum? Because I got that new album from Curse These Metal Hands. First four tracks? Preen. Genius. Need wheels and a good driver for the day. Couple of things in town I gotta take care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wakes out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. You ready? Hey, so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. What do I do to stop them? You don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips, make them sore. Just how it is. Oh. Don't worry. Play long enough and you get calluses. Start hitting What do you think you're doing, you little shit? Going out. Where? Uh, just out for a sec. Be back soon. Back inside now. 
I'm about to let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? Nobody can stop Fuck's sake, you swipe my keys again? Inside. Now, you shit. Maybe Steve wouldn't be so eager to ghost out of his home if it wasn't a drunk tank. <laughs> you think your place is any better? I don't got a kid. Keep this shit up. You <sighs> won't have one either. Who the hell's that? Who the fuck knows? Another tramp? All look the same to me. Our place isn't a drunk tank. Actually clean. Didn't mean how it looks. Just who's in it. My Steve Pop started in. talking to him. Now he bangs on that damn guitar all night and day. Better whip that boy in line. If he doesn't stop, I'll... I'll run away. Couple years and you can move out. Forget about him. Forgive him even if you find it in you. Maybe when I grow up, and I'm tough, like you. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Carrie's alright. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, riding that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains. Especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. That's all that counts. The real deal always has been, in every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday too. Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice, like anything else worth doing. Sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Prime. Lyrics don't come easy, though. I come up with anything. Seems like it's already been done, or it just sounds stupid. Kinda don't really know what to write about. Write what you know about. Golden rule of songwriting. Any writing, really. But I don't hardly know anything. Maybe our building, I guess. First of all, that's bullshit. And second, Tower Life's potentially great material. And third, there's always a third thing. You're young. Give yourself time. Ideas will come. Life will shake you, roll you, maybe embrace you. The music will find you. We have arrived. Preem, hang here a minute. Nah, I'm coming in. Flip through the new releases. What can I do for you? Looking for a six string, electric. Feast your eyes. Probably nothing new, but we'll see. want something solid and true. What? And they're not? No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument. And willing to pay real money. Ah, should have said so. Come on, let's go out back. How's this? I'm coming too. Whoa! To the right awesome. and left, the latest chromatics and Hendersons. Vintage axes in the back.
May I? Of course. Just run away. Best day ever. I'ma let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. <laughs> I've never, ever heard anyone play Silverhand like that. You know, I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught, made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him. Good ear, kid. No one can imitate Silverhand's style. But you did. I just heard you. Obviously got a bit of him in me. Or a lot. Maybe I am Johnny. But how? Johnny'd be like 80 million years old, and you're like way too young. You know, this is just a body, how the dice landed for me. Ultimately, I am who I am. <laughs> yeah, right. Chum, you're a bigger psycho fan than I am. Still haven't explained how you do it. Don't worry about that. Just come up with your own style, and all you need for that is practice. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? I just don't say things I don't think are true. Not anymore. Best day ever. Fuck! My hands are shaking. Rockers are rebels. They always speak their minds. Tried once with my dad, you know. Didn't go so well. In time, you'll learn who you really are. What you really want from the world. I don't understand. Want to be a real rebel? Gotta be yourself first. Be authentic. Rebels are made, not born. Made from the punches life throws at them. The punches they take. You know, you're weird. But I like you anyway. Let's pay. Delta out of here. I'll take and it. Excellent choice. Glad to see she'll be in, uh, in good hands. Help you with anything else? No thanks. Here you go. See ya. What's Delta? Still got some biz to take care of. All right. Roll. Sure thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. My dad says there's gonna be another Cope War. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Won't be another war, don't worry. Arasaka's a lot weaker than they let on. I hate the corpse. Me too. They squeeze you till your eyeballs pop, but it's never enough. They gotta rip each other's spines out too. Mm, no way. I'm a tech. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from Just here. Give me the cell. Just saying. I won't make them he a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. I like driving through here. It's nice. You know what? You're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers. Just sped right by. 
passed underfoot, overhead, and I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. Whoa! I didn't know you had a gun. Hella preem. My dad used to sell ones like those. You gonna shoot someone? No, it's just a keepsake. Um, belong to someone important, right? Hmm. Important doesn't even come close. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs. Can I come with? No, wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay. Thursday, Friday, whatever works for you. carry this around anymore, you know? Can't keep wallowing. Can't keep obsessing over what happened. Couldn't forget you anyway. I'm wearing your goddamn face. Thanks for... Huh. Well, for everything. Where to now? Hey, hey, what's this? Want one? Gave all that up. So should you. Bad for your body. Bad for your soul. 
Where to now? Me? Nowhere. But you'd better get home, Steve. Thanks. The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? Not that long ago. You miss him? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Hmm. the bus! Hey! Get off! Wait! The guitar! You forgot your guitar! No, I didn't. Haven't forgotten a thing. Never will. Avi, I know you're a free bird and all, and you're gonna do what you want when you want. But you could at least let me know you're alive, you know? I, I don't want to say anything, but you missed your last checkup. And like I told you a million times, uh, just call when you can, okay? See ya. B, they had the dependejadas. Straight to voicemail again? What's going on with you, eh? Lose your tongue or what? supper on Sunday for Jackie's birthday. All his favorite food? <laughs> Chilaquiles, tamales. If I could get some real corn, boy, maybe even a lote. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come over. Think about it. Cuídate, amorcito. Take care of it.
stop lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously. We're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo. Remember that. Ah, uh, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raffin Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. V, hey, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff. A good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before Samurai committed to Seppuku, they wrote, you say, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 well you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, oh yeah. Don't forget to delete this message. Hey V, sorry to bother you. I know you're a busy man and everything. But, well, I was wondering how you were doing, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh dear. The hanged man, the magician, the star. Those... those are not good cards, V. They're really bad. They're something like death, but... not quite. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll... I hope to hear from you soon.
Wayland. The access point lies before you. Link to it, insert yourself, and search for me on the other side. Once out of nature, I shall never take my bodily form from any natural thing. But such a form as Grecian goldsmiths make, of hammered gold and gold enameling, to keep a drowsy emperor awake, or set upon a golden bough to sing to lords and ladies of Byzantium, of what is past, or passing, or to come. Looks like I was right again. Told you I'd handle it. Good to see you too, Johnny. You see any of what went down? Nope. But that's probably for the best. Rogue's dead. Smasher was there. I'm sorry. Shouldn't be. Died for me, not for you. Is my body still in one piece? Parked it in Arasaka Tower's basement, plugged it into the network. Figured as much. Your output's been torching my brain with Soul Killer for a good while now. Alt, gonna show yourself? Say hi, maybe? I'm an engram now. A construct. Fuck. Yeah, well, welcome to the club. Hey, Alt, you here? Told me she's finishing the checksum, then she'll copy me back over into my flesh.
So we at the finish line? It's all in Alt's hands now. No. What the? Alt? I made a mistake in excluding the body as a factor. DNA reconfiguration has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons. Spit it out! In human terms! V will die independent of what I do. This is inevitable. This is imminent. For fuck's sake, Alt. You had one job and you fucked it up? I could not know the situation before conducting a thorough and precise diagnosis. You promised this poor little shit a new life! And you lied! You fucking lied! Johnny, shut it for two seconds, will you? Gotta think. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a way out of this. The biochip has irreversibly changed the host organism. It no longer belongs to V, who is an intruder there. The situation is different for you. All changes were made to accommodate you. Hang on. Telling your ex to kick me out of my own body? The changes are irreversible. You have nothing left to lose. He has everything to gain. I will not interfere in your personal affairs, but while Johnny has full control, he can do what he wishes. Got zero intentions of doing you wrong. We made a deal. I'm sticking to it. I'd hope so. Let's just think a sec. About what to do. Seeing as how I'm doomed to die. We stick to the plan I gave you. I leave. You stay. Keys to my body are yours. No. It's gonna be me. You lying sack of shit. So what do I do, Alt? Simply cross the bridge. You will become a part of me, as V's body and former life are restored. Are you fucking kidding me? There are no options, you two-faced sack of shit! You're out, I'm in. That was the deal. Okay, easy. I think too big a dose of Silverhand wound up in my blood. Need to chill. Listen. If I had to choose who to hole up with on a desert island, it wouldn't be you. Ever. Hell, the whole cast of little big corporate rats would have you beat. Cause you're a dickhead. In a big way. And sure, plenty of others out there are more deserving of life. But even so, I'd never wish you dead. Promise me one thing, asshole. You won't forget me.
Good morning, V. I trust you had a restful night. Mm -hmm. You have no new messages. You have one meeting planned today at the afterlife. Delamain has confirmed a vehicle arrival at the arranged time. I've noticed your calendar is empty for what remains of the month. Would you like me to begin planning? No, thanks. That's as it should be. Perfect. Have a nice day. Hey, boss. Hey, you there yet? Not yet. He'll be on time, though. His people came to scan the place earlier. Check and make sure everything's clean before he arrived. <laughs> Thought we didn't notice him. And the gear? All set with the heat. Rest, too. Full tank, ready to launch. Thanks. Be there soon. Good morning, V. Where shall we zip off to today? The afterlife. Head over there. Absolutely. We'll be taking those special air corridors. Excited as I am. So we should make good time. Awesome. My, you look knackered. Hard night. Difficult few weeks. Golly, I'm sorry to hear that. Your incursion into Arasaka Tower has given you all. Respect. Unlimited resources. Now for physical ailments. If it helps, I can offer additional services and spa treatments and whatnot. That may be just the thing for your current condition. In fact, I've teamed up with Trauma Team to provide a medical care package. Limited time offer. Safe travels, I call it. You could try it now. What do you say? How's the search in the city? Arasaka's in a right pickle. An organizational shambles. Its share price has tanked. Public mistrust is at an all-time high. I could go on. Secure Your Soul was to be a mammoth success for Arasaka. It turned into a mammoth curse. They lost all resources related to the program. Mm-hmm. Promised the rich immortality. Sold them on it. Actually collected engrams and knowledge. A bit for control. For power, I say. In the street? What's the street saying? Rumors abound, naturally. You're onto something huge with someone even huger backing you. Their resources, yet more huge. Nothing much besides. Arasaka's a mess, trying to rein in the chaos. At any rate, you, the afterlife, you're safe. For some time, anyway. Preem. Just Preem. Just take me to the afterlife and floor it. Absolutely. I've chosen the optimal route. We'll be arriving shortly. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the stunning views of our fine city. Might be the last time I get a look at this place. Are you going somewhere? For good? One way or another. In that case, I'll hope to see you again soon. Night City, as my clients note, is a true West Coast gem. Uh -huh. They also call it a metropolis of near-paralyzing beauty. Don't doubt it. Have a nice day, V. Nothing for me, thanks. I understand. 
the big day, isn't it? You're meeting him? Mm hmm Rogue had this little ritual. Before any big op, she'd knock back a shot at tequila. Silverhand's preferred. Asked her once if it was for luck or whatever. You know what she said? Said it was about remembering. Said that remembering Johnny that way helped her focus on what was important. So, I'm gonna knock one back. Your health fee, and to the mission. Good luck, V. Hey, boss. Waylon, back and better than ever? Ready and wait. You tell anyone here about that stunt you pulled at Arasaka Tower? What do you think? Claire must have heard it three times already. But what you plan to do today, V? I mean, respect. Nothing else will ever come close. Take good care of yourself, and good luck. Thanks. V. I've long awaited this moment, to look the latest afterlife legend in the eye. I must say, I'm moved. Happy not to disappoint. Sit, sit. Talk to me. Well, V, Mikoshi was quite the punch. You TKO'd Arasaka, in fact. Brought you eddies, influence around town. But not just that. It meant positive paralysis of Arasaka systems. A few additional hatches opened up. My people rushed in, grabbed what they could. So it's all systems go for the op. I have confirmed the intel leaking out of Arasaka. The casino is currently testing a new security system. And it's true. They will be shutting it down briefly today. I believe you'll know how to use that moment. Won't be disappointed. Pick the best merc around for the job. So I've heard. But I'd like it proved to me as well. Speaking of which, nobody's ever pulled off a stunt like this. Where I'm from, they'd say it's straight impossible. They'd say you're taking too big a risk. Poetically speaking, flying towards the sun to burn up. Guess that's why you hired me. <laughs> you know why I hired you? Because you do anything at all for even the faintest chance at survival. Even if it meant coming to within a hair's breadth of your untimely death. This time tomorrow, should have the casino's client data. All of it. Don't forget your side of the bargain. Oh, I never forget a promise. Good luck. Right. In position. Perfect. Almost to the second. My turn. Hmm. Satellites are down for now. Just got the signal. Signature cloaking activated. Remember, got one shot and one shot only. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. As soon as it starts, there'll be no backing down. No chance at extraction. No chance of survival if anyone notices. Excellent. But if this works, you'll gain more than you ever imagined. Times when I had something to gain are long gone. Now, now I got nothing to lose. That's kind of grim. Then again, who am I to judge? Here goes nothing. Good luck. See you down bottom. 
Over and out. What's up, kid? Been a while since you came to see old Vic. I'll bet you're tuned that the afterlife found you a new Major League Ripper, huh? Them swanky downtown fuckers shouldn't chrome out his ass. Am I right? Ah, <sighs> well, I mean it, kid. Get all you can out of this life. You deserve it. More than anyone I know. But stop by sometime, okay? Next time you're in the neighborhood. Talk about old times, and I'll take a look at you. Make sure that the new Ripper of yours didn't screw anything up. See you around, V. Hey, V. Everyone's telling me you're a, a base gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> So big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. Who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to you, me. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, vi. on the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. Wait, it takes off your shoulders. I, I can't even describe it. All right, love lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted. It's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously, we're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And the 
think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo. Remember that. Ah, uh, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, B. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff. For a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before Samurai committed to Seppuku, they wrote, you say, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. somewhere no one's listening okay so my wife elizabeth she's in on the whole thing she she keeps saying i should look after myself tells me to take these pills says they're vitamins got them analyzed at a lab and, and they look okay but but how am i supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results well, 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 when you got a sec call me okay oh, oh yeah forget to delete this message. Hey V, listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I, well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Babe, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of.